Hi guys, Omar with Overlanding Just Cause and I want to do a tour of my Overland camper build. Now this is my 2009 Jeep Commander. She's beautiful. 5.7 Hemi and limited edition uh, leather seats. It's like 179,000 miles I think. This thing runs beautifully. She has given me issues but any 15, 16 year old car will. So this is her. She's got steel bumpers in the front with a winch. I haven't used it yet to like pull me out of something, but I have used it to pull trees out of the way. Notice I got my roof rack. I've got Pelican case, not Pelican, uh, boxes, weatherproof boxes from Amazon. Actually, these are monoprice boxes, the ones in the front. I have two in the front. Monoprice, Amazon. The two in the back are Apache from Harbor Freight. Hey, Athena, get. Oh, hey, Mira, get over here. Sorry, dogs are acting up. They're going a little past their uh, boundaries. So calling them back. Good girl, stay, stay in this area. Like you got plenty of space. By the way, I'm in George Washington National Forest. Beautiful afternoon. Actually, evening now. Sun's about to go down. Sun's going down over here on the west. Got a campfire. Got some food cooking. I've got my setup here. And uh, I've got the Trekway tent. So, let's talk about it. What the fuck's the video about? My camper built. So again, this is my camper built. Let me show you the inside. Now, I have done a lot of modifications to the inside. Well, to the outside as well. I have a four and a half inch lift, super lift. They don't make them anymore. So if you have a commander, two inch, unless you do some, you know, modifications, some, some stuff yourself, you can get a little bit higher, but it'll be a lot of work. This super lift was made for the Jeep Commander Unfortunately, they stopped making them a couple years ago. So, four and a half inch lift. I have 285, 75, 18. The tires themselves are Wild Peaks, all terrains. Love them, been great. This is what gets me on the trail, and it has taken me everywhere. Now, this Jeep Commander has the Quadra Drive 2, which, if you ask anyone who is a Jeep Commander fan, they're lockers, but it's limited slip. Uh, with both the front and rear and they do act as lockers but they are not lockers but I will say off-road it will take me anywhere anything I've challenged it through it has came through now let's take a look inside as far as the back goes it's a little different I do have the passenger rear seat here. I've done some modifications. If you want to know what I've done to it, I actually made captain chairs out of the bench seat for the second row. I cut the middle bench out. I do have the driver's side, rear driver's side seat. However, in this case, for camping solo, I've taken it out. It's just two bolts and I have my mat here and this is where I sleep. On this side, let's talk about it. I have my Scotty grill. I have my camping chair, which is set up. That's just the bag. My chair, my tent bag, all that gets stuffed in there, all being used right now. I have my fridge. It's ran by the vehicle. So now, even though the commander's turned off, it's still running the fridge because it is a constant 12 volt which is awesome. However, do testing with your vehicle if you have a constant. Run it at home in the driveway. Make sure that you can start it the next morning. I've done several tests, like multiple, multiple tests through multiple days. And I think by like the third or fourth day, when I go to crank the car up, it gives me a little bit of spatter, you know, but it eventually starts. This thing is a beast. I, I don't know what they did as far as the electricals with the Jeep Commander, but I can have this 12 volt on, powered on, and it still hasn't killed my Commander. So with that said, I'm going out on a two day trip. I know confidently that it will start. Famous last words. But I also have a battery jumper just in case it's charged. If you have a battery jumper and it's one of those like external ones that you don't make sure you power it every four or five months. Okay, anyway. Also inside on the seat, I have my battery. This is for just charging my laptop, my phone, just all the cameras, all that stuff. Because, you know, I'm a famous YouTuber. 
anyway minor details if you watch my earlier videos i had taken this whole front bench off to make this uh platform to sleep in but what ended up happening was i didn't like it i didn't like the fact that i had a seven passenger vehicle that I turned into a two passenger vehicle, just the driver and the passenger in the front. I have kids, they have practice, you know, with stuff and school and just running errands. Like this is my daily driver. This is what I love to drive. So I ended up taking that bench seat, cutting the middle bench off. Now I have captain chairs, which that captain chair behind the driver's seat, I've taken out to lay my platform. So it's now it's multiple use. This chair right here will always stay in because if I have my daughter in the car, she goes in the back seat. She's still young. She's small. She goes in the back seat. So now it's, again, multiple use. I have my Trekway. You don't need this when you're car camping, but it is a plus. Now, this is the Trekway. It's an instant pew pew. Instant meaning that the poles are connected. You just extend it up, but it does still take a couple minutes. But... It is a lot easier. Now, when I come in here, I have plenty of space. When I'm solo, I usually go with the dogs just to give the dogs some freedom. And this is where they sleep. I have plenty of room to walk in. I have this whole area closed in by the trekway. Usually most SUV tents have this area here closed in. You have to be careful though, because some SUV tents, they're not compatible with like lifted trucks or lifted SUVs. So they're more for like, um, for example, a Subaru that's not lifted, lower to the ground, and you will not have a gap here. In this case, with the Trekway, you see the bottom of the tent right here. And then it has all this space here and a connection to close in now this is important because when you have animals staying in here you don't want them to go out and also if you have animals outside you don't want them to come in now as part of the camper i have my mat i have my little whoopee and i have a couple pillows super simple and i love it guys and the best part about this setup is that with my commander since I've taken the third row seats out, since I've taken the behind the driver second row seat out, I'm able to lay a flat layer out with wood. Check that out in my earlier videos. But the best part about this is I am able to sit up because the commander sits high, has that stadium row city seating where the further back you go, the ceiling gets a little higher and higher. To me, that's important because it's gonna get dark in about two hours. I'm not gonna feel like sitting outside looking at a campfire. So I come inside with the dogs and I get my little mini iPad out and I, I've downloaded movies or shows or whatever and I just sit in the truck, watch a couple of shows and go to sleep. But I get to sit up and I gotta find the dogs because every time I go inside the tent, they try to get a little further out and adventure out. Got one down here, and the other one is accounted for right there. Okay, this is my camper setup. It's super simple. If I didn't have the dogs, I wouldn't need this trekway here. It's just great extra space. Now, I have been lazy before where I don't even put it up. I put all that stuff that was in the back where I put my boots, and I put in the front seat, and now I have space for me, plus the dogs. Now, two 80-pound dogs, it is very tight. Like, the dogs are sleeping on my legs or, like, laying on my thigh. But it is warm. It is cozy and it works now it's it's fall and it's beautiful out no one's freezing out tonight the dogs have their space i have my space and it's just going to be a, a wonderful night this is me camping and this is my overland build so if you have any questions guys leave them in the comments and i'll answer them thanks for watching and i'll see you guys on the next video take care